Today's video has been very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Anusha. I'm a junior doctor currently working in London. I'm doing my core training in the specialty psychiatry here. So today's video is a recommendations video. Basically things that I discovered in 2021, I think are quite interesting and things I hadn't tried before. It's got a whole list of things starting from apps, websites, creators, basically content creators, to books and movies and everything else in between. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So the number one application that I stumbled upon in the year 2021 was Flow. I started using it somewhere around March and I've been regularly and very religiously using it. It helps you basically track down your menstrual cycle, basically when is the ovulation period and when you're going to have your periods. So it's been quite helpful in the sense that it's helped me, you know, kind of predict or know that now I'm having like premenstrual symptoms or I'm experiencing them and this is when ideally I should be having my periods. And and you know how long is the duration of my each menstrual cycle if it's healthy or not so things like that so it's been quite helpful i haven't downloaded the full version of it basically i use the unpaid version so i don't know what fancy options the entire downloaded paid version has but so far so good i basically just want to track down you know how long my menstrual cycles are how many days of flow i have or how many days of periods i have my premenstrual symptoms and all that so if you're somebody who wants to keep track of that then i would highly recommend download this app or if there are any other apps similar to this which i am not aware of then please do comment down below but make sure that it's a free version of it because i'm not ready to pay you know just to track down my menstrual cycle ideally i can just make a chart but i don't have time to physically make a chart so i've just been tracking it down on the application so the number two application which kind of is also on the website is something called notion i have talked about this previously in my videos i came across notion a year and a half ago when i started watching ali abdal's videos i highly recommend this app it has been such a useful tool to have especially in our household when dean and i use it for organizing our life and how organizing the household in the sense that we have our meal plans in place and we can add like things that we need for groceries so the grocery list is in there i actually use it to make my mrc psych exam notes so i have a lot of my revision notes in there and basically have a calendar in place what is really good is that we have one common id so in the sense that dean has his own sections and i have my own sections and it's easier to track what's going on in the other person's life in case you know you've kind of forgotten what's coming up and also we can make changes at the same time or you know i can just add things into the grocery list if i know dean is going to go grocery shopping and stuff like you know writing one thing at a time or calling him i just add things onto the list so when he has to go for grocery shopping then he knows these are the things that need to be purchased or you know like he knows what my plan is with regards to you know where i am in my rotation or like whether i have clinics today or where i am basically with regards to my routine and it's quite useful like I said for you know putting all the revision notes in one place and you know I can take screenshots of any MCQs explanations and just put the screenshot in there and you can also post like YouTube links and also we post a lot of meals or you know like recipes that either of us finds interesting so I think Notion is a quite a useful and helpful app if Notion you are listening to me and if this is the video you stumbled upon please reach out to your girl we can make a collaboration happen so next up is Notability this is something i very heavily use on my ipad for writing down notes what i do is that all the pdf versions of notes or mcqs that i have i put it on notability so it's easier for me to make my own notes or make my own points or you know highlight things and it's a very 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 helpful app in terms of for revision and studying and i have been using it for more than a year now i strictly use it on my ipad but when if i have to revise it on the go then i can open my phone because have the same apple id so i can access notability on my phone as well with regards to whatever notes and you know bits and pieces and pointers i've added on my ipad highly recommend checking out notability for a note taking app in the sense for revision and for studying i really like taking down notes when i'm studying i like making my own notes so previously i used to have like physical books and get pens and colorful pens and all of that life has become really easier since i've gotten an ipad and you know i'm not saying everybody should be getting an ipad but if you already have an ipad then 
then you should definitely check out Notability. It's a free app and I would recommend you download it. All right, so the next app is called Free Trade. This is something, again, I got to know because of Ali Abdal and his amazing videos. It's a free investing app. I started investing probably last year, properly. I should have done it before and I regret not starting early. But anyway, better late than never. Free Trade is, like I said, it's a free app. You can start investing in the big tech titans, whether it's Google, Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, you name it, they've got it. Or if you want to invest in smaller companies or in greener companies. One good thing about Free Trade is that if you use someone's sign up link, I'll leave my sign up link down below, then you get a free share and so do I. So yeah, I mean, it's a win-win. So I'll leave a free sign up link down below if you're someone who's looking into investing in the big tech titans or in the smaller companies or greener companies. It's a free app and it's free to sign up. And if you use the link, you will get a free share. It could be any company and I get a free share as well. So yeah, if you want to do that, go check out my description box. All right, so the next category of recommendations are websites. So the number one website that I highly recommend you guys check out is Skillshare, who have very kindly sponsored today's video as well. I've been using Skillshare for many, many years, even before they reached out for collaboration. And I recommend that if you want to develop a new set of skills in your life, I have watched countless videos, whether it's on editing, on filming, on painting, or on interview tips. If this is the first time you're hearing about Skillshare, then Skillshare is an online community which offers thousands of inspiring classes classes and interesting lessons. They have a whole range of topics starting from illustration, design, photography, videography, freelancing and so much more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. One of the many things I love about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I have uploaded a class of mine on Skillshare share wherein I've showed my NHS jobs portfolio back from 2018 in its entirety and I've completely described the process of how you apply for jobs, how you can maximize your chances of getting jobs and how basically you can do the job searches. These are the questions a lot of you guys keep asking me. What are the jobs available if you've just done your internship or if you've just finished your MBBS from your home country or how do you know maximize chances of people offering you job interviews or basically offering you a job after the interview and what all things to add into your portfolio. I know so many of you guys watching this video are international medical graduates and I highly recommend you check this video out. By watching that class, you will learn about how to fill in the details in the various sections of the NHS jobs profile, how to maximize on your capabilities by listing down things that you didn't think were important, and numerous secret tips on how to increase job searches and advices on how to increase your chances of being offered a job interview. This YouTube channel is all about having a good work-life balance, so this new year, if if you are someone who's on the lookout for developing a new skill set, then you definitely should check out Skillshare. If not, then if you just want to know about how the NHS job profile works or how the job searches works or everything that I just described about increasing your chances of being offered a job, then you should check out Skillshare regardless because I've got a link down below in my description box. So the first thousand of my subscribers who click on that link below in my description box will get one full free month of Skillshare trial. So whether you want to tickle your creativity side or you just want to get information on the NHS jobs portfolio, I've got a link below down in my description box, so go check that out. So the next website that I would recommend you check out is Stop Cashback. This is something I got to know from Dr. Radhika's Instagram stories. I did not know that something like this exists, that every time you freaking shop or buy something, you literally are getting money back. Basically, Top Cashback, like the name suggests, you go to any of the websites that you want to via the website, and it's a free website to sign up. I'll leave a link down below in my description box because if you use that link then you get five pounds and i get five pounds as well which is a win-win again and i'm all about getting those freebies so if you say for example want to shop on amazon or on john lewis or any of the websites or asos or anything so you go to the website via this website so you just you know type in the search bar and then you end up on the website so every time you shop something or you purchase something you win cash back it is like amazing because i have gotten hundreds of pounds by going via this website by shopping basically i'm being paid hundreds of pounds for shopping which is like amazing so yeah so I would definitely recommend you check out top cashback if you haven't yet and yeah you get a free five pound cashback if you use the link down below from my description box so the next category that we have are books or basically audiobooks I'm 
I'm going to be very honest. I did not read many books in 2021. Neither did I finish off a lot of audiobooks. There are very, very, very few that I read or finished. And I just didn't want to add everything that I read and finished just so that I have a long list of, you know, 2021 recommendations. So the only book that I really, really recommend you check out is something called Atomic Habits. Whether you want to listen to it on Audible or you want to, you know, have a physical copy, I would highly recommend you read this book. Honestly, it's such a game changer. It's a book written by James Clear and what he talks about at length throughout the book and he has so much of research and evidence suggesting how you should be concentrating on systems in your life and improving your systems and not have these goals. Talks about, you know, decreasing bad habits or bringing down your bad habits and increasing or reinforcing good habits and how you can get better 1% every day. And the book has so many stories from gold medal winning Olympic champions to award winning artists to life-saving physicians and star comedies who have used the science of small habits to master their own craft and get to the top in their own fields. One of the lessons that James Clear talks about is improving systems and focusing on that and focusing less on goals because he says that by setting goals comes with a lot of other problems and he says that for decades these self-improvement books or the self-improvement you know gurus or talk show hosts have talked about setting goals, have big goals, reinforce your goals and, and he talks about basically not focusing on goals but focusing on your systems and getting better at your system every day because then that you can apply in all spheres of life. So number four category are creators. So number one creator that I stumbled upon in 2021 and I absolutely love is How to Renovate a Chateau. It's basically a family of four who bought a chateau in Normandy, France. Two and a half years ago, we quit our jobs in Paris, left the city and our friends behind and took the biggest gamble of our life. They used up all their life savings and took a loan from the bank and bought this place and they have been renovating it. We decided to spend all of our savings on buying a crumbling chateau, hoping to be able to renovate it into our dream home and begin a new life in the countryside. So they've been documenting the journey of renovating this 18th century chateau, which they are doing all by themselves without hiring a team or builders and their plan is to make a family home and a guest house to invite people explore the neighborhood honestly there is no channel like this one on youtube i absolutely loved how unfiltered they are and it's amazing how hands-on they are with the whole renovation and it's a family of just four like the husband wife and the two kids it's so beautiful to have this whole documentation of your journey and to look at it in posterity so yeah i absolutely love it i don't know how it even came on my search page but yeah definitely recommend you check out out how to renovate a schedule. So the next creator that I recommend you check out is called Elena Teba. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She's a 20 something content creator from New York. She's based in New York actually and she's currently living for a month in Paris. I absolutely love the aesthetics of her YouTube channel. There is this um, series that she's been doing for a while called Bust In. What she does in that is that basically explores you know different neighborhoods in New York and also you know showcases people's flats and costumes of living in that area in New York and how the interiors are done and all the personal touches people add to their own flats because living in London you have really tiny flats so I get really you know, interested in seeing how people live in different parts of the world. Hi hello how's it going it's Elena bring you guys another New York City apartment tour on a little series on my channel I like to call Buzzed In where I basically show off people's badass apartments around the city. In the past, I've gone to friends' apartments and kind of just talk about their decor, how they decorate in a small apartment, and also kind of talk about what their neighborhood is like. So in case you're interested in living in New York City, you get to see a little bit about what it's like. Maybe one day I can bring it to other cities, states, maybe even countries, a girl can dream, fingers are crossed. Having never gone to New York, I've always been fascinated with New York. Absolutely love the series. It's called Boston by Elena. You should definitely check out Elena's channel. I love it. The next content creator I recommend you check out is called Pick Up Limes. It's by Sadia and she makes these amazing food videos. She's got amazing recipes and you know nutritional facts and she also films bits and pieces of her life. She recently got engaged and the video is so freaking sweet. Absolutely love her channel. We use a lot of her recipes that she recommends on her channel and a lot of on the notion where we put in all the back end YouTube video links are actually from Sadia's channel which is Pick Up Limes. I love 
the aesthetics of her freaking channel love it like all the greenery in her backdrop and she's got such a beautiful studio where she films all these videos love it love it so definitely recommend checking out not just for the aesthetics but also for the recipes it's literally the only vegan food channel that we follow on youtube and literally we have been following almost all the recipes to the t and they're so freaking delicious so the next two channels are basically workout channels one is by pamela reeve and one is by chloe ting pamela reeve is something that dean recommended to me he loves watching her videos and working out to it then i discovered chloe ting and now we've been following both these channels for workout videos definitely recommend checking these two out if you're somebody who works out from home or doesn't have time to go to the gym and wants to do a quick 10 minutes workout literally your entire body starts hurting and burning definitely recommend these two channels for like you know proper workout videos if you're somebody who wants to do yoga then the third channel that i would recommend in terms of workout and yoga would be yoga with adrian i absolutely love her videos so the fifth category of recommendations are basically tv shows And number one on the list from 2021 is Squid Games. This actually received quite mixed reviews and we watched it quite late. I absolutely loved it and it was the first Korean TV series I watched. I know, I know there's so much out there and I haven't yet dived into it. It's basically a survival drama and it's got 456 players and all of them are in financial debt and then they get taken into playing this survival game which uh, draws a lot of its inspiration from childhood Korean games. And if you win it, it, then you uh, win 45.6 billion prize money absolutely loved it love the twists and turns love the emotional quotient in it i have never watched any other korean tv show the only other korean movie i've watched uh, was parasite so this was literally the second korean language based show that i watched so if there are any other korean shows that you recommend i check out please drop it down in the comment section i would love to watch definitely recommend checking out sweet games if you haven't watched it you might not like it because my sister didn't enjoy it but Dean and I absolutely loved it and we kept thinking about it for literally a few days after finishing it the second show that I recommend is Behind Her Eyes it's a mini series it's a British psychological suspense thriller kind of a show it's again on Netflix basically follows the storyline of the single mother Louise who has got a new boss in her workplace and then she ends up having this strange relationship with her boss's wife as well I don't want to give away it's quite different and it's not like any other the show out there and the last episode oh my god the suspense is off the charts i highly recommend you guys watch behind her eyes i really don't want to give the plot away it's quite different i couldn't stop thinking about it all night like I, when i went to sleep i even dreamt about behind her eyes it stays on your mind for a while so definitely check out behind her eyes so the next tv show that i recommend you check out is sex education this is something that's been out there for a very long time i was like oh i don't have anything else to watch let me just start watching sex education I absolutely loved it. It's a British comedy TV series on Netflix. It follows the life of these bunch of teenagers who go to the school in Moordale. Mostly follows Otis who is the main character and then his friendship with this girl called Maeve and how they start this sex clinic and his mom happens to be a you know professional sex therapist. It's got a lot of storylines. It's quite interesting. It's hilarious. My favorite character has to be Ruby. Have you been smoking again? No, I haven't. Good. Because smoking is definitely not vegan. I mean, you will be shocked if you not watch it and start watching it and hear this. But as the show progresses, you will know why I said Ruby. I absolutely am team Ruby. Sorry, whoever's team Maeve, but I'm team Ruby. And if you haven't watched the show, definitely recommend watching it. It's a really good feel good kind of a show. So one of those shows where you don't have to think too much. You just have a good time and then you go back to your work. So yeah, definitely recommend checking out Sex Education as well. So the next show that we watched is a limited series. It's an American limited series basically crime drama it's called Mayor of East Town and it's set in Philadelphia it follows the storyline of this female police officer it's got Kate Winslet you cannot go wrong with Kate Winslet so yeah she's freaking amazing like she deserves every single award of the decade for that show it follows the storyline wherein the police officer Kate Winslet is investigating the death of a teenage mother while she's trying to investigate that her own life is kind of falling apart it's got a good twist and suspense to 
towards the end but throughout the show it's just so good like Kate Winslet she's freaking amazing definitely recommend watching Mayor of East Town okay so the next show that we watched was The Morning Show this is something which we knew was out there but never really tried watching because we were like you know when you look at the star cast you just feel like it's just one of those shows which has got good star cast and people are just raving because it's got a good star cast I don't know that's how we felt and that's why we never gave it a shot and then we were finally like oh let's just give it a shot and try what a freaking star cast but what a freaking plot it follows a storyline wherein Alex Levy who is one of the main leads that's played by Jennifer Aniston she is a talk show host the morning show which is basically a breakfast news program broadcast from Manhattan it follows a timeline wherein her co-anchor who is Mitch Kessler he gets fired due to sexual misconduct and the plot starts from there I don't want to give away it's got Reese with a spoon and she is actually my favorite character on the show absolutely love the show and if you've been contemplating like we were where we thought that oh the plot you know like the star cast is amazing but probably the plot and you know like the acting and everything wouldn't be definitely recommend it should check it out um, the season 2 just came out it's such a cliffhanger the way it ends actually you know what I'll take that back Reese with a spoon is not my favorite character Cory is my favorite character and I started liking him a lot more in season 2 I've always found him eccentric I kept telling Dean that oh my god he reminds me of Joker like the show is nothing to do with superheroes or Joker but it's just somehow gives off that Joker vibes and I was like he would play such a good Joker if he was you know cast in the Batman series definitely recommend checking out the morning show okay so move on to the next category of recommendations which are movies The number one movie of 2021 I recommend you watch is Sardar Uddham, a real life story of the freedom fighter Uddham Singh, who was an Indian freedom fighter and assassinated Michael O'Dyer in London to avenge the 1999 Jallianwala Bagh massacre. If you're someone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, please do go back and read on the history of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. I don't have words, it's just, it's shocking, it's disgusting what happened. So, yeah, you should definitely read up on that history, and once you have then you should definitely watch the movie Vicky Kaushal has done a fabulous job we were hunting for something to watch from Bollywood and I'm so glad that this was out by then and we watched it very recently actually in December it's been out since October we weren't aware of that but anyway that's secondary it kind of hits very close to home because this is something the British government has yet not apologized for and it's just the way it's been shown I mean the spine chilling performance by all the actors in the movie it just takes you back to that time and it just fills you with so much of anger if that's the word I can use so yeah if you're an Indian and you haven't watched it definitely recommend watching it if you are a non-Indian recommend you reading up on the history and then watching the movie okay so the next movie is the house of Gucci oh my freaking god we watched this in the movie this was the first movie I watched in almost two years follows the plot of the assassination of Gucci it has obviously many main characters one of them being Patrizia I hope I'm pronouncing it right her name is Patrizia Rijani if that's how you say it in Italy. I'm sorry for butchering it. Patrizia is basically a young, attractive woman. She's working in her dad's small truck form and then at a party, she met Morizio Gucci. I'm just gonna say Mr. Gucci. So obviously there are many Gucci's the entire family. Surname is Gucci but yeah, she meets Morizio there who's a law student and is a 50% hair to Gucci Fashion House. It follows the story of, you know, both of them getting married and what happens after that and the whole history and the legacy of the Gucci Fashion House. Ultimately leading to the assassination of Maurizio Gucci. I wasn't aware of how he was assassinated. It was shocking. So I hadn't read up on the history and I read up on it after watching the movies. Really, 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 really amazing movie. And Lady Gaga, is she she deserves a freaking award for this movie. She is so in character. Like after the movie, all that I and Dean kept telling each other is that father, son and in the house of Gucci. Don't keep a secret. Father, son, and the house of Gucci. I highly recommend watching The House of Gucci. So another recommendation is from Bollywood. This is an old one. It's called Luck by Chance. I hadn't watched it before and I know I'm late to the party. We watched it the other day and I loved it. It's such a simple, honest story of a guy who's a struggling actor and comes to Mumbai, which is a city of dreams. His entire struggle to make it big in Bollywood or the Hindi film industry, like uh, Dimple Kapadia says. She doesn't like it being called Bollywood. She wants to 
call it the Hindi film industry. You know his struggles and his journey and you know the relationships he forms and the backstab and the betrayal and the heartbreak. His victory and Konkana Sen Sharma is freaking amazing. She plays the other lead role. Love it. Absolutely love the storyline. Love the chemistry between them. It's just one of those stories which kind of reinstates the fact that all that glitters is not gold, especially when it comes to the movie industries and that life is so difficult and we just see the glitter and the glamour from outside and occasionally the inside stories come out but it's such a difficult journey and such a difficult path to choose and every day is so hard all we see is that oh they live such a lavish life or luxurious life but the amount of hard work and the heartbreaks and the losses that go into making them who they are you know it could have looked like a parody but it wasn't and you can expect Zoe Akhtar to be the one person who walks that thin line you know now I can finally say that I've watched all Zoya Akhtar written directed movies. With this, we've reached towards the end of all the recommendations of 2021. Having said that, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have made another recommendations video, which was my quarantine recommendations in 2020. So if you want to watch that recommendations video, I'll put a link up above here. You can go and check that out. And if you're someone who is here to get information about your international medical graduate journey, I'll leave a whole playlist down below in my description box. You can go and check that out. I've got a lot of videos about my IMG journey, about PLAB exams and everything else surrounding that. This is the end of the video. I hope you're keeping safe and looking after yourself and your loved ones. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.